On August 21st, 2017, a total solar eclipse will travel all the way across the continental United States for the first time in more than a century. It's still not too late to find the perfect place to see it firsthand with your friends and family. Experiencing a total eclipse is intense and otherworldly. In the middle of the day, there's a sudden onset of twilight, and the temperature will drop between 10 and 15 degrees. Meanwhile, up in the sky, the sun is replaced by a pitch black hole surrounded by electric white light. The eclipse, nicknamed the Great American Eclipse, will cast a total shadow along a route known as the Path of Totality. Prime locations along the Path of Totality will put you directly under the moon, where a pitch black shadow of night will be cast. If you live within this range, you can take a day trip to see the total eclipse. Around 25% of Americans live within a few hours drive of the Path of Totality. On the big day, the partial eclipse will begin in the continental United States in Oregon at 9 a.m. local time. A family picnic breakfast along the Pacific coast does sound picturesque, but there's a good chance there'll be fog in the morning. A safer bet would be to go farther inland to Salem in the Willamette Valley. If the kids are baseball fans, they might enjoy the Volcanoes, a three-game series that will feature the first ever eclipse delay in baseball history. When you're scanning the sky for the phenomenon, don't forget to stay safe. A partially visible or fully visible sun requires you to protect your eyes with special gear that has built-in solar filters. Sunglasses, even very dark ones, are not safe for looking directly at the sun. The partial eclipse crosses the border into Idaho at 9, 10 a.m. local time. The Gem State has tons of events to celebrate, many of them family-friendly. My favorite, at Crater Adventures in Munnan, Idaho, you can party at the rim of an extinct volcano. The eclipse enters Wyoming at 9.16 a.m. local time. The path cuts right through Jackson Hole, home to the majestic Teton Mountain Range. Wyoming stargazing has a week of events planned, including stargazing programs. Most, if not every, sun gazer will want to come away from the eclipse with a precious memento, the perfect photograph. For smartphone photographers, standard lenses are very small and provide hardly any resolution. Solution? A telephoto lens made specially for a smartphone. After Wyoming, the total eclipse will pass through Nebraska. In Alliance, Nebraska, there are educational programs at Carhenge. This place is hilarious. Artist Jim Reinders spent a lot of time at the original Stonehenge before assembling his replica. In Missouri, the town of East Hills will host a walk-through planetarium day, while the nearby Front Page Science Society will have workshops with astronomers, solar telescopes, and tent camping. In St. Louis, there will be festivities downtown, but bear in mind there will only be a partial eclipse in St. Louis, with some of the sun visible throughout the event. Southern Illinois University is going all out with an arts and crafts fair, food, and solar telescope viewing. The Little Green Men Days Festival in Kentucky will be commemorating a local event with supposed extraterrestrials on August 21st, 1955, an anniversary in perfect synchronicity with this year's eclipse. Sweetwater, Tennessee is planning a festival with moonwalking lessons, space-themed movies, and moon pies. The Path of Totality will pass over the Francis Marion National Forest. It's just north of Charleston, South Carolina, and there are ample hiking trails and campsites. Then the eclipse heads out over the Atlantic Ocean. For anyone within this range, you'll be able to see the eclipse with 90% obscuration. Just 10% of the sun will be peeking past the moon. And the rest of the country will see a partial eclipse as well. Those of you in Chicago, for instance, will be treated to a partial eclipse with 87.3% obscuration. From New York, you'd have to travel 571 miles for a total eclipse, but from a Manhattan rooftop, you can see a 71.4% eclipse. From Miami, you can see 77.4%, Houston, 66.72%, and Los Angeles, 62%. In fact, a partial eclipse will be visible throughout most of Canada, parts of South America, Asia, Africa, and Europe. 
If you're the more adventurous type, you may want to trace your finger along the path of totality and find a more remote spot where you can enjoy the ultra-rare day for night.